Hi everybody, I'm Katie, and today I get to show you the Square Pillow Box Thinlet Dies. I absolutely love the size of the box that this Thinlet Die creates. It is the perfect size to throw in some candies, some cookies, you could put a gift card inside, or you could even use it as small packaging for gifts like jewelry. Here are the dies that you will receive. There are eight total dies. This big one is the thinlet die that you will need to create the box. You'll actually need to run this through the Big Shop twice so you get two sides. These other shapes right here you can use to create windows on the box. You can use it to create tags, really anything to complement the box. So I'm going to show you how to assemble the box. I've already cut out my two sides. I've ran that through the Big Shot twice to get my two sides. Now the first step to assembling the box is to score along the score lines. Now the Thinlet die actually pre-scores where it wants you to fold for you. So it's really simple. You just fold the straight edges. Now the curved edges are the little bit trickier part since you can't just lay it down and fold it flat. You actually just kind of have to pinch along that fold line so you get that curve. So there I've scored my full piece. I've got my two curved edges and my edge. So I want to do that to both of my pieces. And once all of my scoring is done, all I have left is to assemble my box. So to assemble my box, I am going to use our tear and tape adhesive. Not to be confused with terrible tape, because it's not terrible, it's great tape. So it is tear and tape adhesive. So I want to just put the adhesive right here along these straight tabs just like that. So then when I'm ready to assemble, all I have to do is peel off that backing and line it up with the other piece and press down. So then to close the box, I'm going to take the other strip off the other side. Fold it up just like that so the adhesive is facing up and just fold the box directly in half. So then we have our box and all we have to do is fold in those little curved tabs to close the box. Now this box is super cute on its own and I would feel good giving it away just like this with a little treat inside. But you can also dress it up like I've done with this sample here, just with some ribbon and a cute tag. You can see I've created windows in this box with those little tree shapes right here. And this really is just a fun way to give a gift. Now you can also pair this box with the a little something stamp set to create fun tags or background on your box. And I have some samples that I've created here to show you with that, where I've used that stamp set. So I've got this sample. You can see I've stamped the background. Again, created a window in my box and just covered it with some vellum or backed it with some vellum and wrapped some pretty ribbon around it. And then I love this sample. I actually cut the box in half and created a little pocket for cards. It is the perfect size for these 3x3 three three cards. They just fit perfectly inside there. So there really are so many different options for customizing this box and that I can really use it for any holiday and occasion. So contact your demonstrator today or visit us online at stampinup.com. You're still here. The video's over. You can go now. Well, since you're still here, you might as well subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Yes, I am. I didn't say anything there. <laughs> 
I'm not an actress. We've had this discussion. <laughs>